Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th. So we're just going to see what comes up. First thing I want to say is not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may or may not be for you. There's no way that I can read for everybody. Um, the timing is fluid. So this I'm, this I'm saying this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th, but there are no clocks in the universe, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. It could happen this week. We'll see what happens. If you celebrate Christmas... Merry Christmas. If you celebrate the winter solstice, happy winter solstice. So let's get started. What do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Perhaps this week. One card, please. One card. Intuition. You need to listen to your intuition. This is the High Priestess. Observe and reflect. This week, this is a main advice card for you. Observe and reflect. Your intuition is going to give you the answers that you are seeking. Okay, pay attention to the signs. Your intuition is going to be uh, spot on this week. If there's been some secrets, okay, think about the high priestess. The high priestess is about secrets. If there's been some secrets, some secrets are going to be revealed, okay. You may have sensed that they were going to be revealed soon. The answer is yes, they are going to be revealed soon. You may be just sitting back and waiting. You know, you may know something is going to happen. You are correct. Something is definitely going to happen. Somebody's been keeping a secret. Okay, we have secrets here. High Priestess is all about secrets. So there's some sort of secret that has been hidden that is just waiting to come out. So what do we have for Scorpio? You know, you could be dealing with somebody that is holding a secret. And they're about ready to spill beans. So. What do we have? What do we have for Scorpio? A couple of cards, please. There's one. Let's get one more. Now, High Priestess is a male or a female. This is somebody that has some sort of knowledge. Okay. Somebody has some knowledge that they've been keeping a secret. Now, I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra because you have a couple of the same cards that Libra got. It doesn't have to be a Libra. But Libra is all about justice. So this may have to do with some legal things, you know, the justice, um, the laws of karma, you know, the justice system. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with the justice system this week or you're dealing with a Libra or, you're, or something. But this is the card that fell out first. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Now it's funny because I said it could be a man or a woman a minute ago. I honestly believe that that is a correct statement. Okay, this doesn't have to be a man. As you can see, it could absolutely be a woman. Okay, so there are some, some we, we have somebody here. It doesn't look like this person is happy. I feel like there's somebody that isn't happy. V, victory in some endeavor. So you're going to be victorious. You are going to be victorious. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. So you may be in a, there's, there's some sort of darkness. Because if you look in a, in a forest, there's a lot of trees. It tends to be kind of dark. So there's something is in the dark. And I feel like there's, there's, you can't see something. There's something that can't be seen. Ant, work, achievement, success. And, and Libra had these two cards. They, but they fell out, so I have to give them to you. So, um, you are going to be successful in some sort of endeavor. You may be, you may be worried about something. You may be worried. You may not be able to see something clearly. But there is success that is coming. There is a younger man that is in your scenario. I feel like this is somebody that you cannot trust. And I'm, I just got to be honest with you. I do not feel a good energy around this person. Okay, this person is younger than you. It's 
So what do we have for Scorpio? Maybe this younger man is going to get victory. I don't know. But I, hap I never know where I'm going to put the cards. I happen to put this over here. You know, but it feels like there's muddled, unclear thinking, perhaps about something you have been working on. What is going on? And there's a secret. Something is, is not, it hasn't been revealed yet. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Knight of Swords, get prepared for a battle. This is a fight of some sort. It is, it's a battle. So we have somebody here that is ready to fight. They have no fear. And I think that you need to protect yourself. This is about protection when you get the Knight of Swords. You need to protect yourself. We have somebody here that is definitely ready to fight. You need to be, you need to be ready to defend yourself in some way. Somebody is coming in, they have their mind made up, they're on a mission. This person is, is making an entrance, okay? Somebody is making an entrance. They have some sort, some sort of truth, some sort of information. Now, this could be a military, it could be military, it could be the police, it could be uh, an investigator. I mean, the Knight of Swords is somebody, could be somebody that is in a professional pos pos position. You know, this is a sudden arrival of some sort. Uh, that's what it is. Somebody's putting a plan in action. Okay, they've come up with a plan. Now they're putting it in action. You may have to think fast. You may have to fly by the seat of your pants. Who You're dealing with somebody. This is like, there's going to be some, because that's the sort of truth. There's been a secret. Somebody's been hiding something. The truth is going to come out. There's And there's something to do with the law here. Something to do with the law. Um, there could be some public speaking that is going on. Something could be made public. This is things happening fast. Something is going to happen fast. Now, this is moving very fast. So somebody may be moving very, very fast. Putting the plan into action. Things happening fast. So, yeah, things are going to be happening fast. Hmm. Mm. Two of Cups reversed. Another Two of Cups reversed is some sort of disharmony. It's disharmony in a partnership. Disharmony in a union. Okay, I don't know if there's going to be a fight or an argument. There could be. You get the Two of Cups reversed. You know, that's that's um, an unhappy couple or a breakup or a separation or ending a partnership. It doesn't have to be a love relationship. It can be something else. Okay, that's 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 an unhappy partnership. Something not working out. Two people are not seeing eye to eye. It could be even losing friends. Okay, there could be even be some bullying here. There could even be some abuse with that Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups reverse. There could be some sort of abuse. Um, five of Cups reversed eight of wands news news arriving there is going to be some news things are definitely going to happen fa fast very fast paced changes okay things are going to happen fast this week moving very very fast moving forward very very fast this is beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity. You may be dealing with a partner that is sad or somebody is sad Some, because this is sadness. Somebody's not happy. They're not happy, but there's a better opportunity here. There's a better opportunity for happiness with the five of cups reversed. There's, I feel like there's somebody that is in a deep, deep depression, you know, and there's some, there's some sort of needing to accept, needing to accept something. Somebody needs to accept that there's a better opportunity. There is, with the Five of Cups reversed. <laughs> Moving very, very fast in a new direction. Leaving behind something. You're leaving something behind. Or somebody is. Somebody is leaving something behind. 
that has been, you know, sad. It's very, very sad. I don't know if there's prison involved here because that's one of my prison cards. Um, mental turmoil. A need to reevaluate. Somebody needs to reevaluate. They're not seeing something clearly. They're not. They're not seeing something clearly about somebody that they're working with. Maybe in some state of denial. Maybe it's the partner. It could be the partner that is in denial or is stuck or is trapped in mental turmoil. Somebody is in turmoil. Okay. Somebody is unable to break free from some sort of prison, you know, or somebody, I mean, I have to be honest with you. Somebody could be headed to prison. I mean, I hate to say that. It, doesn't, it could be whoever you're working with. I don't know. Um, whoever this other person is. So, because this is one of my prison cards. I don't know what that means for you. Um, trapped. Somebody is trapped. They may be trapped in their thoughts. They may be paranoid, you know, paranoid of what is going to happen. And I think there's good, good reason to be paranoid because with that Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords is an entrance. It's a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. It's a very assertive energy. Somebody throwing themselves into a heart of a situation and changing things really, really fast. Okay. This is news. Something news arriving, something about the news. There could be information that something about the news, you know, receiving news. Whatever this news is, it's very truthful. It's very factual. So there's some sort of news you're going to re be receiving. Okay. Um, I feel like we have a dispute here as well. There could be a dispute. I mean, the Two of Cups reverse could be a separation, but it's a separation. Somebody has been trapped in, in a space that they need to get out of, so that maybe not even thinking clearly. There's definitely lack of thinking clearly. This muddled, unclear thinking in this Eight of Swords. Some, something, and there's something that is hidden. Six of Wands reverse. Now, this is lack of victory. It is. Some, well, only one person can win. It's interesting because we have victory over here and victory over here. Now, this is victory and this is work, achievement, success. This is lack of success. Somebody is not seeing clearly. There's lack of clarity here. They're not seeing clearly that this is a loss. Six of Wands. There are, you know, there's an opportunity for something better, though, because of the Five of Cups reversed. Six of Wands reversed is a very prideful, cocky individual who... Uh, is all show. This person has a big ego. There's some sort of unwelcome news coming as well with the Six of Wands reversed. We may have somebody that, you know, there's some, this is losing, losing a battle. They may be having a hard time accepting the loss. That is accepting a loss. And I think there's, this is a fight. This is still wanting to fight, 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 fight. So somebody wants to fight. Okay, I feel like there's gonna there is some sort of fight here. The fight, the battle isn't over. Okay, it's not over yet. Or this would be upright. The battle isn't over yet. But this is this is not seeing that it's not over yet. So there's I think it's a very emotional time as well. I think it's very emotional. Get prepared for some news. Okay, there's going to be some news. Um it's gonna arrive out of nowhere. It's gonna come out of nowhere, okay? Um, now that five of the five of cups reversed is a new prospect beginning to realize people and this could be other people somebody beginning to realize that there's a better better opportunity somebody is beginning to realize and they're beginning to realize something about the truth the facts eight of wands that's news arriving. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready to make a move. Moving. Maybe somebody's just moving really fast. Ooh, star card is wish fulfillment. It is. Everything happens for a reason. It happens for a purpose. This has to do with the Aquarius energy, you know, the Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius. 
Things change really, really, really fast. Things are going to change fast. This is this is a card of purpose. It's a card of wish being granted. Somebody's going to have a wish granted. This is a card of hope and renewal. And the and, and the solstice is about rebirth. It is about renewal. So this the star comes after a tower moment. So because the tower comes before the star, so this is help. Help arriving after the tower falls. So I feel like there, and this could definitely be a tower moment. The Knight of Swords can be a tower moment. It can be an event that happens out of the blue all of a sudden. Okay, there's a sudden change that may make somebody feel uneasy or unhappy or grieve over a loss. But it feels like it's meant to be. This change is meant to be. I feel like we have somebody that has been having a hard time seeing clearly the truth. They've been seeing the they're having a hard time, okay? Um, but I feel like uh, there's some sort of protection here. Somebody's being protected. Somebody's wish is being granted. Now, this is guaranteed success. Somebody is going to be receiving some... This is news, okay? News about something that they asked for. It's like they asked for something and they're getting what they asked for. There's some sort of universal protection here. And that, Juno, Ju, can't speak, Jupiter in Saturn in Aquarius absolutely has something to do with this. Okay, so there's going to be um, news arriving that comes out of nowhere that it, it's, it changes things. This news changes things. I think it helps somebody to see that there's a better option, you know. It helps somebody to realize whatever it is that they have been in denial about. You know, they come out of denial. They start to reevaluate, you know, the future. So I feel like this week you're going to need to probably, you're probably heading in a new direction after some sort of battle somebody's been battling, they've been fighting, you know, there's been some sort of battle. But this is this is coming up and taking a new approach, you know. There is somebody here that is taking a new approach. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Something has been hidden. It is going to be revealed. There is guaranteed success that is coming. There's some sort of protection here. So everything happens for a reason. The, there's a tower moment because the tower comes before the star. So I don't, there absolutely is. So there's a tower moment where there's been, there's going to, or there has been. Either there's going to be or there has been. There, there probably is going to be a major disruption. Okay. Or it's shocking information that this is shocking information. Okay. Or it's a shocking change of a change of events. Light is going to be shed on a situation. Okay, somebody's going to see something differently that they haven't been able to see. Anyhow, this is this is a uh, being shown. You know, I think it's right around the twenty first as well. So it is definitely has to do with the solstice because of that star, you know, um, it does, it does. What is it? What is it? The Christmas star? I don't know. It is this week. There is something that is going to be, it's going to be made very, very, very clear. Now on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. So this is at now, think later, get moving, just go, 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 go. You know what I mean? Don't think about it. Just go. Whatever that means to you. Somebody has been overthinking something as well. They have. It's time to go. You have an exciting opportunity in front of you. Don't waste any time. There's no time to waste. Put it that way. Something is going to change or happen or is happening very, very, very fast. And you have no time to think. Just do it. Just do it. Whatever it is that you got to do, you got to do it. You may have to get out quick. 
Maybe it's getting, because that is getting out quick, both of these cards. So somebody may have to get out really, really, really quick. I feel like you need to get prepared for some sort of battle or you have been. You've been in some sort of battle with somebody that was is very, very emotional. There's somebody here that is emotional. They are. And they're they're fearful. They're fearful of change or something. They're fearful in some sort of mental turmoil over a separation of some sort or over you know a partnership that isn't meant to be or it isn't working and this this could be any any kind of partnership could be about losing friends you know that could be why they're emotional but there is a better opportunity here with this five of cups reverse this is beginning to realize whoever you are dealing with is beginning to realize the truth it could be several people because typically in the six of wands there's a lot of supporters there's a lot of people so there could be a lot of people that are beginning to realize the truth or it could be it could be just one other person because of that two of cups it could be a partner that you're working with okay somebody's beginning to realize something that you know they've been in denial about they've been in denial they've been blocking their emotions or they've been unable to see now they're beginning to realize they're beginning to realize that there's a real opportunity for something better you know and maybe they decide to get out quick somebody's getting out quick of a partnership could be somebody you live with could be something to do with your home There is going to be some changes. There is absolutely going to be some changes. And you may have wished for something or somebody's wish is being granted with that star card. There's some sort of universal protection here for an individual that is meant to be successful. There's an individual that is getting some unexpected help. We may even have somebody here that is famous with a star card. We, we could have somebody here that is famous, that is um, going to be getting some good news. Some really Because the Eight of Wands is typically good news. It feels like you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius to me. There could be a fight, okay, just saying. <laughs> I know I've said that, but I feel like there's going to be or an argument where some, somebody could leave suddenly. It could be a sudden departure. The cops could even get called. Whatever it is, it's some sort of news. Okay? It's news that changes everything. It's shocking news. It's a surprise. It's getting out quick, moving very fast, moving very, very fast in a new direction. So that's what's happening. Somebody is, is moving very, very, very fast in a new direction. No doubt about it. They're going after something that they have. It's almost like they've prayed for this. It's like a, pr a prayer being answered. Somebody's prayers are being answered. It's going to bring some sort of clarity. Somebody's going to be getting some clarity. They've been confused. Here comes the clarity. There's going to be some sort of renewal. You know? It could be a renewal of a bond as well. Strength. You're going to need to be strong. We have somebody here that is very, very brave. Very, very courageous. We have a, a strong individual that is not going to give up. They're going to go after what they want. Nobody is going to stop them. No fear. 
Have no fear. There's no fear. With that Knight of Swords and the Strength card, no fear. There is some sort of protection here. This is a dream come true. Somebody's wish is being granted, whether it's yours or the other person's, whoever is in your story. There's some sort of universal protection here. We have somebody that is protected. Somebody needs to find their strength and their courage and their confidence to leave behind something that has really hurt them with that Five of Cups. This is the strength and the courage and the confidence and there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of sorrow. There's been a lot of grieving. And whoever this person is, is going to find their ability to master their emotions. They are. They're going to find their courage. To go after wish fulfillment. And I feel I believe that somehow, you know, there, like I said, there's a secret that is somebody's been hiding their feelings or they've been hiding something and the secret is going to be revealed and it's, I think it's going to cause chaos. Get prepared for a secret to be revealed or somebody to come to their senses. Somebody could be coming to their senses as well. I think we have a huge awakening here. We have somebody here that is going through an awakening. They've been in a state of denial and they've been ignoring their gut and staying in a place that is safe. You know, they've been staying in the safety zone, but now this is a major awakening. It, it is. It's a wake-up call. Get prepared. <laughs> Seriously. This is going to be a week of... I feel like it's massive change for you. I do. I don't, I don't need the tower card. I feel like this is a week of massive change. This is enlightenment. I feel like you're going to become enlightened. Or somebody that you're dealing with is. Could be a partner. Somebody that you've been working with. You know. Somebody that you live with. So there's going to be a change. Okay. Could be a change in living circumstances. No more crying. No more moping. This is somebody beginning to realize the truth and going after what they want. And there's no stopping them. So. <sighs> Good luck.